the safari of today has the safari soul intact. It is still invincible. The road presence game is still strong on point. What's changed though is the connect. The old safari is a legend and when everything changes, so would the safari. Just like how the old safari adapts to terrain, it also adapts to time. And this is the safari of today. Let's admit it, the safari looks a lot like the Harrier and that's a great thing. And it has those few bits that make it the safari. While the Harrier gets a sloping coupe-like roof, the Safari gets a stepped-up roofline. And you cannot miss those iconic Safari badge roof rails. These are two fundamental design characteristics for any Safari. On the sides, you have this massive rear quarter glass indicating that you have an extra row of seats on the inside. And you also have these massive 18-inch wheels, alloy wheels, diamond-cut alloy wheels that add this confident stance to the Safari. And up front, you have the chrome-treated front grille and this is what differentiates a Safari from the Harrier and this is what gives you that instant upmarket feel. And at the rear, you have this sharply designed tailgate with the prominent Safari badging. And in fact, the whole vehicle, the whole design commands another look. I love the entire interior setup. Everything feels so fresh, everything feels so smart, everything so upmarket thanks to all the soft touch materials on the dashboard. And it's also very well space managed because even in the third row, you have good amount of legroom for the occupants. Just like the exteriors, the interiors too get this touch of old safari philosophy where if you look at the second row, they are seated slightly higher than the front and this is called theatre style seating. This is what all the old safaris had and this is what this safari gets as well. The start of the engine, the grunt of that 2-litre diesel, the shift of the gearbox, the response to the acceleration, that precise steering, all this makes you feel super, super confident. Good roads, bad roads, it doesn't really matter. The safari makes you feel like you're literally on a magic carpet. Suspension is on the stiffer side slightly, but that's exactly what you want in a car to make it feel so planted and sorted. The steering is light when you want it to be and it weighs up as you hit speeds. And it's quite easy to hit speeds thanks to this 2-litre diesel giving you 170 horsepower and 350 Nm of torque. 